Okay, so I'm going to have a go at a five Caillou exercise on Code Wars. I'm currently seven Caillou because I've not been there for that long. I've not been using Code Wars for that long, but I'm going to try and get a promotion. So I'm going to do a five Caillou exercise. It's called Scramblies. So let's get straight into it. Okay, complete the function scramble which takes two strings as a parameter and it returns true if a portion of string one characters can be rearranged to match string two otherwise return false only lowercase letters will be used no punctuation or digits will be included and performance needs to be considered so in these examples scramble RKQODLW world returns true because W O R L and D are in that first string. Uh, code wars returns true when this is the first parameters, so I think we can see code wars is in there. Katas and stake returns false because we've got no E. Okay, so I think that's um, reasonably straightforward. So I think I deserve a promotion to level five. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the characters out of string one. And then I'm gonna work through the characters in string two I'm going to get the characters in string one and put them in a set and then I'm going to work through the characters in string two and remove them from the set one at a time if I get to a character which isn't in the set then I will turn false and if um, I get to the end and I've managed to remove each character of string two from the set made up from string one then I know I should return true. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a map and that's going to have a character as the key and it's going to have an integer as its value. Uh, so I'm going to keep a count in this integer for each character that I see. I'll call that Charmer. And then I'm going to work through the characters of string one. So for char C in str1 to chart array. And I'm going to say if char map contains key C, then char map put C and charm up get C plus one. So if we've got a number in there already, I'm going to add one onto it. Otherwise, I'm going to just put one in there. So what I've done there is I've counted all the characters that I've seen. So in the case of Katas, for example, I'll put K1 and then I put A1 then T1 and then I'll add one onto the A so I'll have A2 and S1. Now I'm going to work through the characters in string 2. And if not char map contains C can immediately return false. And if it does contain C, I'll say if char map get C equals one, char map remove C. And if it doesn't equal one, then it equals something more than one. So I'll subtract one from it by char map put C charm up get c minus one and i think if we get to the end of it 
and we haven't returned false then we can return true and I think that's it so I'm just going to test that with the three examples uh, Okay, so we're expecting to see true, true, false. So I'll run that and see if we get that. True, true, false. So I'm reasonably confident with that. So I'm going to submit it and see if I can get promoted on Code Wars. So let's see how that does. And I'll submit it. Um, there may have been a slightly more elegant way of doing it, but I'm happy with what I've done. So let's see. So, okay, this is a this is another idea. This is a good idea. Um, he's just replacing the character with an empty string so that's more straightforward a better way really um, this way here is similar to my way he's using a linked list um, that looks like my way really but he's got a method count letters so And here he's using for each, so he's using the lambda expressions to do it. So it just goes to show there's loads of different ways of doing the same thing as there often is. But I'm happy with my solution, so that's my solution for scramblies on Code Wars. So thanks for watching.